Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com and I have five tips for managing distractions and summer-itis for you today on this quick business video tip. I wanted to talk about distractions because a lot of my clients are getting distracted because summer's here, you know, people are graduating, kids are graduating or out of school. I have a nine-year-old myself who's out of school this week, uh, no, next week, and, uh, no, this week, <laughs> and, uh, but we put her into like an adventure camp thing, so she's uh, still somewhere during the day so we can actually get work done, whereas other people keep their kids at home, which is a huge distraction if you work from home, right? But it's still fine to do. Uh, I don't want to help. This isn't about parenting tips at all. This is about uh, what to do to manage your distractions or your summer-itis. So whether it's a kid or whether it's just the nice weather calling you outside to the pool or to hiking or to vacation or whatever, of course we want you to take vacations. That's not what I'm talking about here. But what I'm talking about is managing your actual work schedule and how to make sure you stay focused on revenue generating activities during this time. <clears throat> so let's talk about five things. First thing is time block your calendar. I find that this is probably one of the biggest things that I have to do to keep myself on task is time blocking my calendar. That means, and I have a Google calendar, so uh, for those of you who don't use Google or an electronic calendar, I might recommend you think about it because when you have paper, it's so much harder to time block and move things around. You have to erase and, you know, especially if you write in pen, you're really screwed, right? So if you have Google, you can just move the little time blocks around if you need to reschedule things or fit in a client and then move something out somewhere else or, or cancel an event or whatever. Um, time blocking on your calendar is crucial. Now, there's some rules of thumb. Uh, some people who talk about time blocking talk about leaving white space. I have a friend who talks about leaving white space in your calendar. To me, that's detrimental to my focus and success. So that doesn't work for me. Uh, I do recommend, however, scheduling in time for fun and self-care and things like that that you want to do. So if I know I don't want to work until 10 a.m., which is most days, I want to have time. Like, I only have like three or four hours in the morning, honestly, in order to do my thing around the house, eat breakfast, play with the dogs, walk the dogs, get some exercise, uh, and get ready for my day and see my family off to work in school, that's what I want to do in the morning. Make sure you set your morning up the way you want to do it. I have some clients who want to get to work by 6 a.m. That's great, right? Because they want to be off by 3 or 4. Perfect. Do it the way that you want to set up your day. But use the calendar wisely and time block and then make sure you make time for fun and or self-care or lunch. I had one client one time that scheduled in an hour every day for lunch from noon to one, noon to one, noon to one, noon to one, Monday to Friday because she wanted that time for herself in the middle of the day. I care, could care less, although I like to sit out in my patio. It's pretty hot out there now, so I don't know that I care if... Um, I set a whole hour for lunch. I certainly don't need an hour for lunch. I want to set an hour maybe to walk the dogs or exercise or something different. So do what needs to get done for you. The other thing is to stay focused. Uh, set timers. So number three is set timers. Uh, get your phone out. I'm doing this today myself actually because I've got a lot of project work to do after I do this a couple videos here. So I'm doing a couple videos and time blocking uh, to get some videos done so I have some content created, right? You gotta create content in your business. If you're not writing articles, then record videos. For me, recording videos is really fast. I can record an eight or 10 minute video. My assistant then will put it on YouTube, she'll put it on my blog and create marketing copy around it and share it and all that kind of stuff. So she'll repurpose these video contents that I do. So setting timers, though, allow you to make sure you manage your time, say, for example, when you go onto social media or you check your email. Checking email can be bad for me because I have hundreds and hundreds of emails in there and I could get caught like trying to clean out my inbox when that is not the task of the day. That is not the task that needs to get done today is cleaning out my inbox, but I'm doing it because I'm avoiding this other thing over here. So don't do that. Set your timers so that you only gives you 10 minutes to go quickly and check your emails or quickly get done whatever it is you need to do on social media and then get the heck out and go back to your revenue generating activity. 
Uh, the fourth thing is to uh, have an accountability accountability buddy. So find somebody else, a friend, a peer, a client or a coach or mentor, somebody who can hold you accountable to what needs to get done. Lately, I've been doing that a lot more with my mastermind clients, the people that are in my Live Big Mastermind. And we get on a call like we did this morning. And every single person, we talked about what they're working on and what they need help with, etc. And then at, at before we get off the call, I had them all hold themselves accountable to what they were going to get done by next Monday, the, the following week or whatever, by a certain deadline. And they all said that. So then what I do as their accountability partner, mentor, or whatever, is I put it on a little sheet of paper. So I've got their little accountability notes right in front of my face, stuck to my computer, frankly. And so then next Monday, or whenever I, we were going to have them held accountable, I have little notes on what that is and when it is. I message them, either I'll text them or I'll send them an email or we'll get on another call as a group and I'll make sure we go through that. Did you get this done? Why not? What happened? What distracted you? How, did we, how can we help you move forward so it doesn't happen again to put it off, right? Uh, so get an accountability buddy. And the fifth thing is to reward yourself. Reward yourself for getting certain things done. I have a couple clients right now. One just did something and rewarded herself with a pedicure, something as simple as a pedicure. Now, she had the pedicure on the calendar already, frankly, and I said, okay, but if you don't get this thing done by that Friday, you have to cancel your pedicure for Saturday is what I did. And so the same thing goes for another client. I just had uh, schedule a facial. She really wants to go to the spa and get this certain facial that she's getting, but she has a really big task to get done before a certain date. I said, okay, I want you to go schedule it right now. And she already scheduled it before we even got the call. I said, okay, but if you don't get this done by that date, you have to cancel and probably pay a cancellation fee for canceling that facial. So whatever you have to do, now those are just some tactics that I'm working with clients on. I'm not forcing everybody to cancel their thing, but sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need to, something to be taken away, right? Kind of like my nine-year-old, you know? Okay, well, if you don't stop playing your Moby Go right now, I'm gonna take it away for a week. She said, a week? I did that yesterday. <laughs> she stopped playing her Moby Go right away because she heard me take it, like, take it away for a week. No, 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 I don't want that. So, oop, off it went. But had I not said that, she would have just kept going and going, and I would have had to ask her five times to turn off the Mobigo, right? So just saying there's just some ideas for help to manage your distractions any time of the year, but also especially if you have summer-itis going on right now. If you want more information like this, you want to get tips like this and see my video tips, um, get my articles, watch the blog posts, get interviews that I uh, do occasionally, probably two, three times a month, uh, you want to get on my email newsletter. And <clears throat> so I'm going to give you a link to go to right now, sign up for the newsletter. I'm telling you, it's worth it. It only comes out once a week. You get a whole bunch of different stuff. You can pick and choose what you want to read or listen to or watch. Uh, and it tells you all about the events where you can find me, either speaking for free or online or offline. Um, I happen to run actually a speaker network too, so you can get onto some of those webinars. And some of it is, a lot of it is free, you guys. So if you need help to start up, grow, market, or monetize your business, you want to get on my newsletter. It's jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash newsletter. Trust me, get on it. You can always unsubscribe. You're going to get all kinds of great tips and uh, reach out if you want more. I'm happy to share with you or talk to you more if you have any questions. Have a great day, everyone. Bye now.